we have a phenomena here in the United States right now and actually all over the world because people go through divorce families. Woman raises a son and a daughter. If she raises a daughter, it's okay because a daughter learns from her how to be feminine, how to cook, how to communicate, how to be responsible around the house and etc. But a woman cannot raise a boy masculine. Only father can do that. And so a lot of men now are very too emotional. And I see how one of my videos, a woman can, a guy cannot dump his emotions on a woman because here's a higher power, then there's a mentor, then there's a man, and then there's a woman. Woman, she is here, can share her emotions with a husband. But husband cannot come from work and dump all of his emotions on a woman. And then guys telling me, well, this is what's wrong with our country. If a woman doesn't take my emotions, why do I need a woman for? Only feminine guys talk like that. Masculine men talk to guys. And this is how they fix the problems. Hey, John, I don't know what to do about this job. My boss did so and so. Well... John uh, or Tom, you got to do this and this and this. Oh, I didn't thought about it. Okay, cool. Thank you, guy. That's it. We women, <laughs> we go on and on. 15, 20 minutes emotions. We're very emotional. For women, it's normal. But when a guy is too feely, 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 this is very feminine because he was raised by a mother. And again, going, this is, goes back to femininity and masculinity. Yesterday, a woman in the Russian store stops me. And she said, Alisa, I've been watching your videos, but I'm not buying into your masculine and feminine thing. But tell me, what can I do with my five-year-old daughter? I'm like, so what's going on with your five-year-old daughter? She's like, she cannot find girlfriends. Nobody wants to be friends with her. And I look at her, do you want a straight answer? She's like, yeah. I said, well, you, you said that you're not buying into this masculine and feminine thing, but you're very masculine and your daughter is already at five, is very masculine. And even a five-year-old feminine girls don't want to be friends with your daughter because she's speaking up from who? From her mother. Mother. Boys speak it up from fathers. That's why fathers need to be more involved with raising sons and woman needs to be more involved in raising daughters. And so she's a tough, successful, career-driven. And so do you think she has time to spend her femininity and love and spill it to her daughter? No. And then she tells me, oh, no, no, no. Please record a video to my five-year-old so she can learn how to make friends. I thought, oh my God, what an idiocracy. How is this possible? She wants to put responsibility to her five-year-old. And this is what feminists are creating right now. They don't want to be responsible that the marriages fail and that relationships don't work and the relationship with kids don't work men need femininity and love kids need femininity and love but they're like success money 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 okay money money but then your kids are having problems and marriages marriages are failed so oh, don't get me started on that topic you can see how passionate i am <laughs> all right moving on any questions about that but yeah, it really got me really frustrated yesterday. I need to record a video to a five-year-old so she can learn to make friends. <laughs> the less man talks and the more he asks questions on the first, second, third, fourth date on the first stage, a, ma a woman in her mind going to make him even more attractive and even more intelligent uh, because he listens. And because it's working opposite way, like if woman less say about less say about herself, less talking about herself, but more asking questions, that she's a uh, okay. And with regards to women, so imagine going back to my client. He's talking about timber, and she asks him, "Oh, how many tons are you shipping to Korea and Japan? <laughs> and what drinks did you have in the karaoke?" And what else are you going to sell? And how much millions did you make on this deal? Do you think a guy is attracted to that? No. Men ask her question and she shows herself by sharing. 
but do not ask a guy a lot of questions. That's a big turn up when you're trying to show that you're so interested in him, interested in him, because that creates again this. Okay? Clear? Very good. Now, another nuance. Uh, if a woman has to be careful in how she talks to a man because she is afraid that she's going to hurt his feelings, that he will be a, a, aggressive, angry, or upset, that really turns off a woman and her interest diminishes. So here we have to also get that men don't understand women and women don't understand men. Some women mistakenly think that a man, number one, must know what women want. This is a big misconception. Men don't know what women want. Number two, also, immediately he needs to complete all her wants. Uh, a painting on the wall, it has to be done now. She asks him to take trash, it has to be done now. Not even thinking that he has 10 other things in his mind that he's working on, but a woman wants it right now. Or a woman wants to move in with him next month. She wants an engagement in two months. She wants everything fast. Women have a tendency to jump, by the way, six stages. A woman typically, after two weeks, could be in the third and fourth stage. Where a man... <laughs> Hardly. He's just in the first sexual desire. Woman jumps very fast through the stages. For example, she wants to go to Jamaica. I want to Jamaica now. Let's book a ticket now. She wants everything now. And she thinks a man has to do this right away. Three, he needs to show her actions that he wants to take care of her. For example, uh, she needs to fix car. He needs to show that he's fixing her car and show the action. This misconception, by the way. In the first and second stage, guy, actually on the first two stages, yes. Do not ask and don't expect from guy anything. On the third stage, you can start sharing, just lightly, just sharing yourself. And on the fourth, you can really start sharing about your problems. First. So first two stages, you don't talk about your problems at all. At all, because you will scare a guy away. Because on the first stage, he has a sexual desire. On the second stage, we're entering stage of uncertainty. What, do you know what stage of uncertainty is? No. When a guy, for three weeks, is questioning. Do I really like her? Why am so I with her? Second that's the second stage. And by the way, most of the marriages go through the major breakdowns in relationship. Because women panic on the second stage. The second stage is again the stage of uncertainty where a guy can go for weeks not calling you, not calling you, and he thinks, maybe I don't like her. Maybe I, because his sexual drive starts to go down a little bit and he starts to question. I'm not sure if I really like her. I remember my friend uh, that I went to college with, super smart guy but was so stubborn so, so argumentative and he was single for several years and then he tells me oh, Lisa, i met such a beautiful woman she's like angel and i'm like yeah only angel can take your argumentative and stubborn character and he's like i'm so in love i not in love i'm like so happy and i'm like awesome and then he calls me in two months and he said you know what I think she's faking that she really likes me. I think uh, she wants to use me. I don't know why. I think she wants to marry me and have kids with me. I don't know what's wrong with her. I don't, I, I don't, I don't think she's the one. I'm like, what are you talking about? You met almost an angel. Like, she's a really sweet girl. So anyway, he went through that stage for a month. And she was a smart girl because she was not calling him during the stage. Because when a woman attacks, uh, panics, what does she do? She calls. She starts calling and calling and calling. And what does she do? Drives him away. Because the guy, the reason why he goes away in order to feel that, in order to come back even stronger. Because next stage is going to be about him getting emotionally close. And if he, the guy doesn't go through this uncertainty stage, he will never go through this other uh, four stages and definitely not through that. And in the marriage, the stage level of disgust, which we talked in the previous, 
lecture gonna be really long. And so a woman at this stage, if she feels that the guy is uncertain and doesn't want to spend time with her, or he becomes aggressive to her friends or her relatives, because he's questioning, and she's the one, should give him space. That's why if they're living together, the relationship, he will lose more and more interest towards her because she's not giving him the space. And that's why a woman in the first and second stages got to have multiple dates because a woman, after she sleeps with the guy, what happens to her? She gets to a guy really attached. And then she's like, oh my God, he's almost my husband. Why he's not calling me? Why? Why? What have I done? What have I done wrong? And she's not texting him and calling him. And she's even willing to have what with him? Sex. If she didn't have on the first stage here, she's trying. I won't even sleep with you. Just come back to me. And by the way, that doesn't stay save the, the, the stage. It makes it even worse. And what guy does on the second stage, and that is the biggest problem. In the first stage, both need to date other people. Because if John is not calling her on the second stage because he